If you're here, it's because you want to know how to graduate from college as a millionaire. And guess what? It's not as impossible as it sounds. In fact, I'm going to break down three different strategies that you can start implementing right now while you're still in school. We're going to talk about starting a business, investing in stocks, mainly options, and buying real estate. Each of these strategies has the potential to set you up for financial success well before you even get your diploma. So if you're ready to level up on your financial game and set yourself on a path to millionaire status, stay tuned. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on more life-changing tips like this one. Let's get started. All right, the first way to graduate as a millionaire is to start a business while you're still in college. Now, I know what you're thinking, starting a business is risky. But here's the thing, college is actually one of the best times in your life to take that risk. Think about it. When else in your life will you have all of these resources? At your fingertips, you have mentors, professors, other students who could be your first customers, business partners, or even your employees. Plus, you're in an environment that encourages creativity and experimentation. So what's a better time to start than now? Let's look at some real life examples. Have you ever heard of insomnia cookies? I'm pretty sure you have especially if you up late cramming for an exam or you have the case of the midnight munchies. Seth Berkowitz started that company from his dorm room in University of Penn, and it is now a multi-million dollar business with locations all over the country. And of course, I'm sure you heard of the big dog, Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg started Facebook in his dorm room in Harvard, and now it is a global trillion dollar company making over $200,000 every minute. But you don't have to create the next Facebook to become a millionaire. You just need to find a niche, solve a problem, and commit to it. Let me share a bit about how I did it when I was in school. When I was in college, I noticed that during spring break, students were spending a ridiculous amount of money on hotels, but they weren't getting the best experience. And them being college kids, they didn't have a lot of money to get the best resorts or hotels. So I decided to start a travel agency that catered specifically to college students. Here's how it exactly worked. I partnered with hosts on sites like HomeAway and Airbnb. I would find a large vacation home where a group of students could stay together and split the cost. This way, students save money and hosts got their places booked. I handled all the bookings from the rentals to booking their flights, and I even gave them an easy payment plan because they're college students, they can't pay $1,000 at one time, so maybe $200 a month leading up to the trip they would give me. And before you know it, I was making some serious dough, all while still attending classes. So if you have an idea, don't sit on it. Start now. Whether it's an e-commerce store on Etsy, a service business, or something totally unique, college is the perfect time to take that leap. Look around. Is there something on campus you wish were better or more easily accessible? Talk to your fellow classmates and see what they're thinking. And who knows, that side hustle could turn into a full-blown business by the time you graduate. Remember, there's no better time to take risks than when you're young. If your business takes off, you'll be ahead of the game. And if it doesn't, you'll still learn some valuable lessons that will help you later on in life and in job interviews. Because let me tell you this, every job interview where I mentioned that I saw a need and started a company to address that need, I've gotten the job. Recruiters and bosses love to eat that up. Next up, let's talk about investing in stocks, specifically options. Investing is one of the most powerful ways to build wealth. And as a college student, you have a huge advantage, time. The earlier you start, the more time your money has to grow, thanks to compound interest. And options trading can be a way to supercharge those returns. But let me be really, really, really honest with you and transparent. Options trading is risky. It's something that you don't want to just jump into without doing your homework. But if you're willing to put in the work, the potential rewards can be huge. So what exactly are options? In simple terms, options give you the right, but not the obligation to buy or sell a stock at a certain price before a certain date. This means you can control a large amount of stocks with a relatively small investment. And that's where the potential for big profits come in. One way to get started is by using your refund check. Now, I know that it's tempting to spend your refund check on something fun like going clothes shopping or for spring break or for extracurricular activities, but if you're investing instead, you could be setting yourself up for financial success. Here's how it could work. Say you have a refund check of $1,000. Instead of spending it, you could invest in options with a huge stock with a huge potential returns. If your stock goes up, the options could skyrocket in value. But, and this is a really, really big but, 
If the stock doesn't move the way you expect, you can lose your entire investment. That's why it's crucial to do your research and only invest money you can afford to lose. The key here is to start small and learn as much as you can. You can even practice with paper trading, which is trading with fake money, to get a feel for how options work before you put any real money on the line. There are tons of resources online to help you understand the ins and outs of trading. And when you start making money from your investments, don't forget to reinvest your profits. This is how you build wealth over time. Compounding is your best friend, and the more you invest, the faster your wealth will grow. So if you're looking for a way to turn a small amount of money into a lot, options trading might be worth exploring. Just remember to do your homework, start small, and only risk what you can afford to lose. Don't YOLO and risk your entire college tuition on an option trade because you might not be able to afford to come back to campus next semester. Now, let's talk about the final strategy that can help you graduate as a millionaire, buying real estate. Real estate is one of the most tried and true ways to build wealth. And believe it or not, you can get started while you're still in college. The best part is you don't need a ton of money to start. With an FHA loan, you can buy a property with just 3.5% down, making it really accessible to most college students. Now here's a strategy that I implemented. During your sophomore year, use your refund check as a down payment on a multifamily property. And you might be wondering why multifamily property? Well, because you can live in one unit and rent out the others, which means your tenants are essentially paying your mortgage. And why not start in your freshman year, you might be thinking. Well, living on campus is really, really fun. Also, some colleges require you to live on campus your freshman year. And also during your freshman year, you can save up the funds to buy your first investment property. But if none of those things really apply to you, then sure, go ahead, start your first year buying investment properties. But if you decide to wait until your sophomore year, then during your junior year, do the exact same thing. Buy another multifamily property, move into the new one, and rent out the unit you just left. By the time you graduate, you could own three to four different properties, each generating rental income. And because you've been using FHA loans, you've been able to get into these properties with minimal down payments. Now, let's break down some numbers. Say you find a multifamily property for about $200,000. With an FHA loan, you need to just put down $7,000. If you bring it in $1,500 a month in rent from the other units, that could cover your mortgage and even leave you with some extra cash to do as you wish. And here's the really cool thing. After you do this the first time, you might be able to buy your next investment property for free. I know, how you might ask. Well, let's just say you purchase a four unit building, you're living in one unit and renting out the other three. After the mortgages and expenses are paid, you have $1,000 in profit. If you were to save the profits every month, you would have $12,000 at the end of the year. And now you can use that money to buy the next property. Do this three times and by the time you graduate, you can be making thousands of dollars in passive income using very little of your own money. And also don't forget about appreciation. Real estate tends to go up in value over time. So not only are you making money from rent, but your properties are also increasing in value. This is how you build wealth in real estate, by holding on to properties, collecting rent, and watching your investment grow. So don't be surprised by the time you graduate, all of your properties are worth a combined million dollars. Plus there's tax advantages. As a real estate owner, you can deduct things like your mortgage, property taxes, and even depreciation. This can save you a ton of money come tax time. Not only that, you might even get a pretty fat refund. And let's not forget the G-Wagon deduction. Yes, you can potentially write off the entire cost of a G-Wagon because you're using it for your real estate business. But it doesn't have to be just a G-Wagon, it can be any large vehicle. And the best part, you don't have to do it alone. There are plenty of resources and professionals out there who can help you navigate the real estate market, from realtors to property managers to online communities like Bigger Pockets. Plus, if you want to buy a larger multifamily building or a commercial space, you can get your other classmates or your friends and family to pool their money and refund checks together to level up. Just make sure you have it written down somewhere who did what, who owns what and what percentages so you don't get into any arguments in the future. So if you're serious about graduating as a millionaire, consider getting into real estate. It's a proven way to build wealth and it's something that you can start right now, even as a college student. So there you have it. Three proven strategies to help you graduate college as a millionaire. Start a business, invest in options, and buy real estate. Each of these strategies has the potential to change your life, but you have to take action. The key to success is to start early and stay consistent. Whether you choose one of these strategies or all three, the important thing is to start now. Don't wait until after graduation to start thinking about your financial future. The sooner you start, the better off you'll be. 
If you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you have any questions or want to learn more about any of these strategies, drop a comment below and I'm happy to help you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tips on building wealth and achieving financial freedom. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.